Hey everybody, Jerry Berger from Farmers Insurance, your Oregon Farmers Insurance agent. And we're gonna do something fun tonight. The Berger family, this German family is gonna take you to Italy. We are going to make tonight a homemade meat stuffed ravioli. And we're gonna start with a pasta real quick and I'm gonna pause a little uh, throughout the video so we can catch up here so it's not too long of a video. And we'll show you the ingredients in a minute, but we're gonna start with the pasta right now. So basically I've got two cups of white flour and I've got three eggs. And we're just gonna slowly start to knead all this together. That's right, baby girl. <laughs> this is how the burgers do family night. We're gonna knead this and slowly add water to it. This is where it gets messy. And I'm gonna start kneading this, add a little water to it, and we're gonna come right back. Okay, so we got the dough. You can kind of notice it's a little bit loose and I put a little bit of flour on here. I'm gonna just keep adding a little flour to the counter because it's a little too soft. I want it a little more firm. So I'm gonna add a little more flour to it. And by the way, I took and sprayed some cooking spray <laughs> on my hands to keep it from sticking because this is actually take two. We videoed earlier and it was all over the place. <laughs> So a little more flour, it's getting a little more firm. That ought to do it right there. Oh no! So what we're gonna do, we're now gonna take the flour, I'm gonna stick it in cellophane, I'm gonna wrap it up. Oh no, someone's hungry. This is family night, this is what we do. I'm gonna stick that in the refrigerator for a half hour and we'll come right back. Okay, so now that the dough is in the refrigerator, it's gonna uh, go for a half hour. We got until quarter to seven, so I'm gonna start the, the, uh, the meat uh, mixture. We've got, you can use sirloin. I'm using ribeye steak, and I cut it up, cubed it in really thin slices. Um, this isn't gonna be, it's gonna be a braised beef, but we want the texture in there, and we're gonna caramelize the vegetables, and it's, uh, so that we'll braise the meat. So we're gonna start out with, um, some olive oil in the pan, and we want it on a, a pretty high heat, and we're gonna put a lot of olive oil. We're gonna put Italian amount of olive oil, if that tells you anything. Then we're going to add, I've got about a half a, about a half a stick of butter here. Whoops, got some carrots in there. Now with this, we're gonna do a typical Italian sauce, which includes onions, probably about a, I'm gonna say about a quarter of a cup, about the same with celery, and about the same with carrots. So onions, carrots, and celery. And we are going to just let that, let that caramelize. So this is gonna take 10 minutes or so until it gets nice and caramelized. That butter is gonna give it a nutty flavor and the butter turns brown, so the butter is going to give it that caramelized look. So we're gonna let this uh, simmer for a little while and we'll come right back. Okay, so we are ready to do the filling. So as you can see, this is really looking nice and caramelized now. The vegetables are getting soft, so we're gonna go ahead and add the meat. And again, this is a this is a um, a ribeye, good quality ribeye. We're gonna get that in and just fold it in. And we're gonna brown this for a little while. So we will come right back after this is browned. Okay, as you can see, the meat is browned now, and we still have it on a fairly high heat. We're gonna add the love, the Italian love. First of all, we got some beef stock. I'm thinking about a half of a cup of beef stock. In red wine. And this just happens to be one of our favorites. It is a, uh, uh, it's a macchia, petite Syrah, and it's just amazing. It's a little on the, very fruity, very heavy, and it's gonna be perfect for this dish. And you never wanna use red wine for cooking that you wouldn't drink. Um, if it doesn't taste good, you wouldn't want to drink it. Why would you want to eat it? So um, this is a great wine. We're going to put, I'm guessing, probably another half a cup again. 
and balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna put, um, gosh, maybe about an eighth of a cup in there. And I'm gonna simmer this. But before I simmer it, I'm gonna add uh, a good pinch or maybe a couple pinches of salt. I use kosher salt and a good pinch of pepper. I like lots of pepper. And for now, we're going to stir this up a little. We're just gonna let this simmer for 20 minutes or so and it's gonna reduce. Um, I'm gonna leave, in fact, I'm gonna leave that crack a little bit um, so the steam will escape and it will reduce. So we'll come back after about 20 minutes. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and look at that. Look how beautiful that is. That is sexy. <laughs> you want a sexy dinner, this is it. Oh my God, I'm gonna take a little bite of that. It's caramelized. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some mashed potatoes. Um, uh, this is about three quarters of a potato, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna put about a half a potato in there. We're gonna put two eggs in here. Then we're going to add some grated cheese, Parmesan, a um, quarter of a cup maybe. Mix all that up and it's gonna to bind together. And this will be ready to fill our pasta, which we're gonna go do next. And uh, I'm gonna just stir this in really good and we'll come right back and we'll start making the pasta. Okay, we have now ready to do the raviolis. We've got the uh, dough out of the refrigerator and it's perfect. We're gonna just kind of flatten it out, round it, and good way to divide this in four <laughs> pieces. Just let it take a, actually I'm gonna do more, I'm gonna do a half. Um, we're gonna put a little flour on the counter here. Roll this up a little bit so it's not too sticky. And we gotta roll it out a little bit so it'll fit through the machine. We got this uh, machine today at a kitchen supply place in the old mill district and um, it was like $100 and it's very well built. It's an Italian made one. We're gonna run this through here a couple times here. Just gonna stick it in there, start it going. And I'm gonna pull it out the other end. We're gonna do this a couple of times. You can see it's kind of, uh, the texture isn't the best yet. So we're going to run it through again. That is looking good. And one more time for good measures. I'm gonna make that a little bit thicker. Oh yeah. You know what? That's a little too thick. <laughs> okay, one more time. We should have it. And the other thing you can do is you can kind of pull on it to kind of stretch it out. I'm gonna do that this time. There we go. That is it. Now, you can do different, we're gonna do uh, three different types of pastas. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna take just egg wash, which is just egg, and we are going to brush this whole thing. This is going to allow the uh, dough to stick on the edges when we put the filling in. Okay. So the first one we can do, we're gonna do full round pieces. It's 
a little much. wanted to be on camera. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Where are you going? Okay. Bye. I'm going to fold these. So I, I said that wrong. What we're going to actually do, the first one are going to be half round pieces. Because we would have had to have another piece to go on top. And I didn't do that. So can you hand me that glass? <laughs> So we're just gonna do this little number. And then we're just gonna kind of <laughs> take these and just kind of pinch the edges. That's it, that's the first part. We'll come right back and do the second part. Okay, final stretch here. We're just gonna do two of them tonight. I'm gonna do the, the round ones. We did the half rounds and now we're gonna do the full rounds. So we're gonna take about, whoops, hold on, I forgot to egg wash these. Again, the egg wash is gonna help the, uh, the uh, both the top and the bottom dough stick together. Okay, perfect. I'm actually gonna start it over here. And my honey was over there saying, how many are we gonna have? We're not gonna have enough. We got six people to feed. <laughs> These are really filling. This is the thickness of the dough is about the thickness of a, of, of a um, fettuccine noodle, um, but they're very filling. So I'm gonna cover that, kind of hit the in-betweens here. And we're gonna have a lot of dough left after this one, so we can do another batch. Uh, take my little cup here. And when you get them out, you want to kind of squeeze the air out of them. And then you want to kind of seal, kind of pinch the edges. And that is it. So we're going to show you what we're doing for sauce with these and how to cook these. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Here are our raviolis. What we're gonna do here is I got some boiling water and I put a little bit of olive oil on that and some salt in there. We're just gonna take these things and we're gonna uh, give them a little bath for about a minute and that's it. We're gonna pull those out and then we're gonna put them in the sauce and we're gonna be uh, just about ready. So check back with us in a minute. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain what I did for the red sauce. Um, this is a really easy recipe. If you got a crock pot, you gotta try this. Um, basically, all I did is take two of the big cans of tomatoes, tomatoes, and I put them in the blender. The two big ones, I don't know if they're 16, 18 ounce, 20 ounce, whatever they are, and one can of tomato paste, put them in the crock pot. I put some Italian seasonings in there, lots of garlic, uh, some sauteed onion in there, and I put a little red pepper flake in there and lots of red wine. And, we, and then the secret to this is spicy Italian sausage. I, had, I did ground Italian sausage and browned it, put it in the sauce, and then these are links, and these are so good. Um, cook this overnight or cook it all day long, and the, the flavors from the Italian sausage come out, and this is a, such a rich sauce. Um, it's amazing it, that it's gotta cook all night or all day long, do it in the morning, have it at night. So anyway, I just put the uh, pastas in there, and basically you're just gonna serve them up, and really three of them is probably plenty for the average person. These are big, and I think I might have uh, done the uh, 
Uh, the pasta is a little too thick. I wish I'd have done a little bit thinner. But anyway, that is it. That's Italian night for these German burgers. Um, hope you enjoy this recipe. Try it out and um, share this if you will. Share this video uh, to your Facebook page and so others can enjoy it. Um, Jerry Burger, Farmers Insurance. Have a great night. It's Saturday night and... Salute!